Hey, it's Daniela over at DIYDaniel.com and today we are going to show you how to install an ovation curved um, shower door for a bathtub door, I guess. Um, we have our ovation tub in here. So you can see it's got a rounded front, so the frame on this has to be rounded as well. So let's talk about what supplies you'll need. Pretty much everything you need is going to come with it, except for some basic woodworking supplies like a screwdriver, which you should have. So let's get started. My husband assembled the metal frame before I realized what he was doing so I don't have a step-by-step -step for that but there are instructions for it and the only thing he mentioned it's pretty easy to do but make sure you don't strip the screws because um, they're Phillips heads and yeah <laughs> so just be careful screwing all of the screws in place your frame on your bathtub and make sure you get it exactly where you want it to go make sure that the sides are level or plumb um, so they're going straight up and down mark where your screw holes will be and you can remove the frame go ahead and pre-drill your holes then tap in your wall anchors this is for areas where you don't have a stud that the screw can go directly into you need to put a washer on your screw before screwing it into the wall anchors. This helps keep water from getting through to the other side. There are little um, covers to go over the screw head that you can just pop right on there. The sides of the um, frame are really adjustable. They kind of move around a little bit. So what you need to do next is figure out exactly get get everything situated exactly how you want it and then you're pre-drilling a hole right where these holes are which just helps stabilize the frame and keep it from shifting around that shifting is useful when you're trying to get it to the right size but once you've got it set up so it's the right width you don't need that movement and again here we are just putting a screw right into that hole with a washer in between so that the um, water can't leak through. And you're going to pop some more um, covers on top of those screw heads as well. And here's the screw, the covers for the screw heads again. Go ahead and clean up any debris. If you've been um, pre-drilling for wall anchors, you're going to have some ickies everywhere. So you're going to want to make sure to clean that up before you go to the next step. Here are the rollers for the door. You want to just install them. There's two per door before you um, put the door onto your frame. The doors just slide right in. You're going to install the one on the lower track first and the other one second. So the first door you're going to install is the one that goes in the lower track and it goes towards but outside um, on this one. And it was really hard to get the pieces in, so we had to actually remove that one and uh, put it on again once it was on. But the other one fit in fine. So the second one goes in the same way. It's a little easier to get it on the top track, and then it goes in that one um, inner track there. These handles just screw right on. Keep in mind that your outer door, the handle's on the outside, and your inner door, the handle's on the inside. That keeps them from hitting each other, and they just slide right past each other. Otherwise, you're gonna have issues. Don't break your glass, so. Um, there's also two little plastic pieces. One goes on one side of the glass, and one goes on the other. Um, just to protect again from scratching the glass. And these little pieces of metal just sit right on top of the frame and cover up um, some of those gaps there. So not a big deal, they just snap right in place. So they give you this little bag of lubricant, I assume, for the, or grease for the wheels. And I just cut a little edge, or a little corner of the bag at the bottom. And we're just gonna pop some in here. See if it helps any. 
Okay, so the last part is to use caulk and our silicone sealant along the bottom outside and along either side on um, either side on the sides. <laughs> and um, I'm not gonna get into how to do that because you guys can watch a different video I've done on how to do that. But the main thing is you wanna get along the side seams and along here um, where the metal meets the tub. Make sure to wipe everything away. Make sure it's nice and clean where you're gonna put it on. Um, so no debris gets stuck inside your coffee.